Moving on, Public Service International, a labor group, says amidst efforts to revive the economy due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, the government must review the country's free zones policy. According to the group, the policy in its current state has failed over the years to achieve its main objectives. There is more in this report. The Ghana government, as part of efforts to attract foreign direct investment, created the Free Zones Enclaves, which offer international entities a lot of tax exemptions to establish the operations in the country. The focus of this was to create employment, generate revenue and technological transfer. In 1995, the Ghana Free Zone Board was established to oversee the regulation of the various zones. But several years since its inception, Daniel Oberkon, tax and trade organizer of the Public Service International Africa and Arab countries, says Ghana is yet to make significant gains from its free zones regime. If you consider the kind of tax incentives we give out, it's difficult at the current moment to match that tax in those tax incentives, how much we are giving out to how much foreign direct, direct investment we have received as a result of the incentives to the, you know, how much exports we've been able to, to make as a result of the incentives we have, we have granted. And so it's difficult to even match all these things to do even a cost-benefit analysis. It's very difficult. And so it's important that we look at it again because we are losing this amount of money at the expense of quality education, at the expense of quality health services, at the expense of energy at the expense of all the social amenities we are lacking as a country, at the, at the expense of you know, developing our roads. And so I think that we, there's need for us to consider uh, some of these issues that we have, you know, we have highlighted. And I think that it's also very good that the country itself and a number of countries in the world that are also implementing the economic, special economic uh, zones model are seeing the need to reform. He further shared some thoughts on the way forward to improve the current situation. The reform is critical, is important. What should happen is that the various stakeholders, especially the Ghana Free Zones Authority, should allow other, you know, experts to get involved in the reform process. They need to allow the academia to get involved. They need to allow workers and civil society societies to get involved in the reform process. And on the reforms, we believe that our tax incentive uh, packages that we have given out should, you know, should be should be should be looked at critically. And in fact, if you consider how these models are spread across ECOWAS, you should know that the ref our reform approach should actually should be broad, because if you institute a reform process or if you change your your your, your the tax incentives and all that. This, like you said, you heard, these companies are threatening to move into other countries. It's only when we develop a, a, an ECOWAS-based reform where we see that beyond a certain uh, corporate tax rate, we can't, this, we can't give you know, uh, concessions. 